Hello and welcome back to the Scaleform HUD tutorials. Okay, in this video we've, or in previous videos, we've already got this uh, movie clip set up and we've got it sort of positioned wherever we want it. In this case I'll put it in the bottom left hand corner. You don't have to be exact, it's just that's roughly where it's going to go. Um, in this video I'm going to try and show you how to set up the action script for it. So what we're going to do is lock the layer that the uh, movie clip was on and I do it for good practice I just put another layer on top of everything else lock it that I just use for the actions so what we need to do is we need to import a couple of things now if we go back to the the one that I created for the demo uh, we have a uh, couple of things imported so if I'm just going to copy those over it's in flash dot external dot external interface, which isn't essential, uh, but that you need to use that for the log function that we're going to be making later. That's it calls external functions in Unreal Script, and then import gfx dot motion dot tween. Uh, that is again for um, moving things in the 3D gfx interface. Um, what we're going to so I'll copy those over, put them on the first frame of our actions layer, and then the next thing we need to do is activate the 3D drawing part of it, the bit that rotates it in the 3D and all the rest of it. So for this, we need to copy the line underscore global. So I'm not going to copy it; I'm going to type it out. Underscore global dot GFX extensions capital A on extensions equals true and that just activates the 3D drawing uh, that has caused a lot of problems for me not realizing that I had to put that in okay and the next thing because I don't like having a uh, sort of code that runs on startup outside of a function I'm going to create a new function uh, name it init and there's no uh, parameters and within that function we're going to type health bar underscore mc dot underscore y rotation that's rotation about the y axis so the vertical rotation so to tilt the thing left and right and we're going to set that to minus 30 okay I think that's what we're setting it to yep minus 30 and then after that function in the main uh, action script outside of any functions just type just call that function in it and then it started uh, okay I'm going to save it now because I forgot to do that before uh, I'm just going to save it as scale form tutorial uh, it doesn't really matter what you call it you can call it whatever you want um, right and then the next thing we're going to do is the pulsation of the uh, sort of moving the red bar and the 100% uh, text uh, in and out on the Z axis so for this we need to add a value a variable to the beginning so after your global GFX extension declaration thing add a new variable called angle and it, that is a number and what I'm going to do is in the init function after health bar MC dot y rotation uh, we're going to set angle equal to zero so we just initialize that variable right and then cut on to the actual pulsation bit we want to create an on enter frame function so root underscore root dot on enter frame is function and then in this we want to add 0 0.1 to the value uh, to the value of angle every frame so we're increasing that and we want to declare a new variable called signed and that's again a number uh, and then that equals math dot sine or sin of our angle and then it's math.sin of the angle 
plus. Uh, what did I add? Because if you don't plus, if you don't do an add, it moves in and out, and you end up having it having a negative uh, a Z that makes the bar appear as if it's going behind the uh, the green rectangle when it actually doesn't. So it doesn't look nice at all. Uh, I've added two, so the the value of signed will be anything between um, let me think two and one and then I'm going to divide that by two so signed divided by equals two just to make the, the range slightly less and then manipulate the values and then we're pretty much done so health bar underscore mc dot bar underscore mc because we're manipulating that dot underscore z equals negative 600 because we're making it move towards the uh, viewpoint the camera the sort of player sitting at the screen uh, times our value assigned and then health bar underscore mc dot health underscore txt uh, dot underscore z and we're going to set this one we don't want this one to come out quite as far so this one is negative 400 times signed and that should give us our pulsing uh, bars so if we save that which I've just done you may have seen the little uh, uh, Windows cursor change and then you could go and uh, run this in uh, the normal Adobe Flash player but you don't get any effects so what you have to do is come back to Scaleform Launcher and test it with FX Media Player and if you look we've got the uh, health and the uh, bar moving in and out now the problem with this is which I hadn't thought of before um, what you've actually got is the bar is trying to come out beyond the health text but the health text is in front of it so it looks very dodgy so all you need to do to fix that open up your uh, sorry unlock the layer that the health thing is on open it up and move the layer with the uh, static text on which I think was that no all right move the layer with the bar on which in my case was layer 2 and just move that to the top and then I can lock them again okay and that should if I come back out to scene 1 save it test it again and now that bar is coming out over the top of health okay if you don't really like that effect if you don't think it works properly uh, just change the values in uh, in your root frame just change the values here you can make it come out less more you can fiddle about with the maths there or whatever so now we have the HUD set up and ready to go in the next video because the YouTube time limit is silly in the next video I'm going to show you how to import that into a package using the UDK editor and then we can un we can comment out or sort of reveal this line here and uh, then make it but the first thing we have to do because if we try and run the editor now you will get all sorts of strange errors and all sorts running um, is if we minimize out this and we open up our source folder I'm just gonna cover that monitor just because I can um, in our so in the UDK install development uh, wait is that the right path Hang on a moment no sorry in the UDK install uh, we're gonna make the scripts that we've done so far which is why we've commented out this line so that it doesn't try and reference that which doesn't exist yet so in your UDK folder open up binaries and if and sorry you need to then open up unreal frontend.exe 
uh, you may have a shortcut to this or whatever. And then at the top here, you need to click the arrow next to make and do a full recompile. Now the reason we do that is because we've um, edited the default innies, so we need to be able to change those uh, and update the ones that the game actually uses at runtime. So this will take a little while to do, so I'm going to pause the video. Okay, and we've got a few errors on that, so between videos I'm going to look back at what those errors are, find out what they are, and we'll change them in the next video and um, sort that out later. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.